Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on lines and angles. So in this video we will discuss uh, angle sum property that uh, you have studied in cl previous classes also in class 8th or 7th standard that sum of angles of a triangle is equals to 180 degree. So then we will discuss uh, theorem related to angle sum property and we will also uh, discuss the proof of the theorem. Then again we will discuss next theorem which is exterior angle property that exterior angle equals to sum of interior opposite angles. So that also you have might have studied in 8th or 7th standard. So again we will do some of the extra questions related to as angle sum property, uh, angle sum property theorem and exterior angle property theorem. So again we will discuss each and every question through example. So let's get started with the first concept which is introduction to angle sum property. Now in the earlier classes you have studied through activities or you can say through theorems whatever may be the way you have studied that sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree means suppose we have a triangle like this triangle A, B and C and suppose this is angle 1 this is angle 2 and this is angle 3. Then angle sum property says that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals to 180 degree. So this is angle sum property. So we will discuss uh, questions related to angle sum property and proof of this uh, angle sum property through theorem. So let's get started with the first theorem which is angle sum property theorem. The theorem says the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree means suppose we have a triangle like this A B C so as discussed in the previous slide uh, already that th if this angle is 1 this angle is 2 and this angle is 3 then angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degree so this is angle sum property now we need to prove this that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degree. So let's see how we can prove this. So we'll solve the proof. Suppose we are given this triangle triangle ABC again and this is angle 1 this is angle 2 and this is angle 3 and suppose we draw parallel line you can say xy which is parallel to bc means we draw parallel line xy to bc now let's mark this angle as 4 and let's mark this angle as 5 now let's see how we can uh, prove this as we know that x a y is a straight line if it's a straight line then this means that angle 4 plus angle 1 plus angle 5 should be equals to 180 degree you can say angles on a straight line means angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 equals to 180 degree why because these are angles on a straight line right now now this line xy is parallel to BC this means angle 4 equals to angle 2 why because xy is parallel to BC and AB is transversal So this means angle 4 equals to angle 2. Similarly, we can say angle 5 equals to angle 3. Why? Again, XY is parallel to BC and AB or AC is a transversal. So let this be equation be first. Now if we put the values of uh, this one and this one in equation 1, let it be equation 2 
and let it be equation 3. If you put 2 and 3 in 1, we get angle 1 instead of angle, uh, we can say angle 4, there comes angle 2. So, we can write instead of angle 4, we can write angle 2 plus instead of angle 5, we can write angle 3. So, we get equals to 180 degree. So, we get angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degree. So, which which proves the angle sum property. So, this is how we can prove the angle sum property. So, let us discuss the next theorem which is theorem related to exterior angle. The theorem says that if a side of a triangle is produced then the exterior angle so formed is equal to sum of the two interior opposite angles means suppose this is a triangle you can say triangle ABC and if we, if we extend this line BC to we can say X then this angle angle 1 will be equals to sum of angle 2 plus angle 3 means uh, theorem says that angle 1 will be equals to sum of angle 2 plus angle 3 means the exterior angle will be equals to interior of sum of interior opposite angle means the interior angle should not be this there should be opposite interior angle so this is the theorem so let us see how we can prove this theorem discuss the proof of this theorem again consider triangle ABC triangle A B and C let us extend this to X and mark this angle as 1 this as 2 and this as 3 and this as 4 no. As we have proved earlier an uh, angle sum property theorem that sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now, if we consider triangle ABC angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 will be equals to 180 degree. Why? Because they are sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So, now if we if we, if we consider straight line BCX, we consider straight line BCX, then angle 1 plus angle 4 will be equals to 180 degree. Why? They are angles on a straight line right then we can say that angle 4 can be written as angle 180 minus angle 1 so let it be equation 2 and let it be equation 1 now if we put equation 2 in 1 we get like we, we have to replace instead of angle 4 we have to write 180 minus angle 1 or we can say right now it will come out to be angle 2 plus angle 3 plus 180 minus angle 1 will be equals to 180 so we get this equation now this and this will get cancelled so we are left with angle 2 plus angle 3 minus angle 1 equals to 0 now we take this angle 1 to this side so, we get angle 2 plus angle 3 equals to angle 1 or we can write angle 1 equals to angle 2 plus angle 3. So, which proves the theorem that exterior angle is sum of interior opposite angles. 
So this is how we prove the theorem. Now, let's move on to the next example. So uh, we will in, uh, solve the examples related to angle sum property and theorems, whatever we have discussed so far. So we'll do some of the extra questions also related to the angle sum property. So please watch this section of the video very carefully because these questions are generally seen in examination. So you have to pay attention very well. So let's start with the question in the figure. It's given if QT like this, this line QT is perpendicular to PR perpendicular to PR means it makes 90 degree angle with PR as you can see this angle if TQR TQR this angle is 40 degree and angle SPR this angle is 30 degree we need to find X and Y so let's see how we can do this now if we consider this triangle and triangle this triangle we can say you can see clearly triangle Q TR we can say angle uh, QTR plus angle TQR plus X will be equals to 180 degree why they are sum of angles of triangle is 180 degree we can clearly see that now QTR is 90 degree as given so we can write 90 plus TQR TQR is given we can say 40 degree plus X which is equals to 180 degree so it will come out to be 90 plus 40 is 130 plus X equals to 180 so x is 180 minus 130 so x is 50 degree so we get the value of x as 50 degree now we need to find the value of y so uh, let's see how we can do this now this is 30 this is 40 and we got this is 90 and this is 40 we got uh, 50 we got x as 50 now if we consider triangle uh, we can say p s r we have angle p s q as an exterior angle to this triangle p s r we can say angle p s q is exterior angle of triangle PSR so we can clearly see that this angle when this line is extended makes an angle exterior angle with triangle PSR so this means angle PSQ will be equals to sum of interior opposite angles means it will be equals to angle PRS PRS plus angle s p r means this angle angle y will be equals to sum of this angle plus x so we can write now p s q is y so we can write y equals to p r s is p r s is 50 degree plus and s p r s p r is 30 degree so we can write 30 so y comes out to be 80 degree so this is the value of y so this is how we can solve this type of questions so let's move on to the next example example 2 now in example it's given in figure that sides AB and AC of triangle ABC are produced to point E and D respectively if bisectors of BO like the bisectors BO and C of triangle CBE like this if this is a angle CE CBE and this is a angle BCD and these are the bisector BO and CO bisector means they are dividing this angle into two equal halves meet at point O so this is the meeting point then we need to prove that angle BOC means this angle equals to 90 minus half of angle 
BAC like this angle. So let's see how we can prove this. Now we know that uh, angle CBO is half of angle CBE. Why? Because we can say BO is a bisector of angle CBE. You can clearly see that. Now, what further is similarly, we can say like uh, you can say that angle uh, CBE now angle BCO BCO is also half of like this this angle BCO this angle is half of angle BCD right because why because again CO is a bisector of angle BCD now we got this now, we can clearly see that this angle plus this angle plus this angle is 180 degree now let's see how we can write uh, CBO angle CBE uh, angle CBE CBE plus Y will be equals to 180 degree why because AE is a straight line right so we can write angle CBE equals to 180 minus Y similarly we can write let it be first equation similarly we can write uh, angle BCD plus Z equals to 180 degree. Why? Because AD is a straight line. So we can write angle BCD is 180 minus Z. Let it be 2. Now we can put the value of CB over here and BCD over here so what we get is we get angle CBO will be equals to half of CB is 180 minus Y so which comes out to be 180 by 2 is 90 so 90 minus Y by 2 so let this equation be 3 similarly angle BCO comes out to be half of 180 minus Z why? Because angle BCD is 180 minus Z, so which comes out to be 90 minus Z by 2. I did this before. So now if we consider triangle BCO, if we consider triangle BCO, we have angle CBO plus angle BCO plus angle BOC is 180 degree why because it's angle sum property angle sum property right now angle CBO is 90 minus y by 2 plus angle BCO is 90 minus z by 2 plus angle BOC is 180 degree now what we get is 90 plus 90 is 180 minus y by 2 minus z by 2 plus angle boc equals to 180 degree now what we can further is this and this will get cancelled so what we get is angle boc equals to y by 2 plus z by 2 why because we can take this value right hand side so let it be equation 5 now if we consider triangle ABC we have X plus 
y plus z equals to 180 degree so we can write x as 180 minus of y plus z now x is angle BAC so we can write x is angle BAC we can clearly see that so we can write angle BAC equals to or can write 180 minus y plus z so we can write y plus z equals to 180 minus angle BAC so let it be equation 6 so we can put the value of we can now we can put the value of 6 in 5 so what we get is angle BOC equals to now LCM are same so we can write y plus z upon 2 so which implies is angle BOC equals to 180 minus angle BAC upon 2 so if we split the uh, LCM what we get is angle BOC equals to 90 minus half of angle BAC so this this is how we can prove the equation so this is how we can solve these type of questions so let's move on to the next question the question number one now in this part of the video we'll discuss some of the extra questions uh, related to angle sum property so watch this section again carefully so because the, these are questions uh, we have seen already coming in the examination so please pay attention over here now in the question it's given in the figure sides QP QP and RQ of triangle are produced to a point S and T respectively if angle SPR is 135 and angle PQT is 110 we need to find angle PRQ we need to find this angle now let's see how we can find this angle if we consider uh, if we consider QPS as a straight line it's given it's a straight line then we can say angle QPR plus angle SPR equals to 180 degree because they are an angles on a angles on a straight line you can clearly see that this angle plus this angle they are angle on a straight line angle QPR plus angle SPR so we can write angle QPR will be equals to 180 minus angle SPR so which is 180 minus SPR is 135 so what we get is 45 degree now we get this angle as 45 degree now we need to find angle PRS oh, sorry angle PRQ now angle PQT will be equals to angle QPR plus angle PRQ why because exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles now so this means angle PQT is 110 it's given and angle QPR is 45 it's given so what we get plus angle P R Q so this implies is angle P R Q will be equals to 110 minus 45 so which will come out to be 110 minus 45 so answer will be 65 so angle P R Q is 65 degree. so we got this answer so let's move on to the next question question number two now question number two says in figure 
x is 62 degree like this is given to be 62 degree angle x y z is 54 if y o and z o are the bisector of angles x y z like this is a bisector of this angle and z o is bisector of this angle we need to find this angle angle o z y like this angle and angle y o z like this angle so let's see how we can do this now if we consider triangle x y z so it will be angle y x z plus angle x y z plus angle x z y will be equals to 180 degree why because they are angle some property so this means it will be 62 plus 54 plus angle x z y equals to 180 degree so this comes out to be 62 plus 54 so it is 116 plus angle x z y equals to 180 degree so this means it will come out to be angle x z y will be equals to 180 minus 116 so answer will be 64 so we got angle x z y as 64 now since z o is a bisector of angle x z y so this means we can write angle uh, o z y will be half of angle x z y why because o z is bisector so angle o z y will be half of 64 so answer is 32 so we get angle o z y as 32 now we need to find angle y o z similarly similarly we can say y o is also a bisector also bisector and it's given it's given so this implies is we can write angle o y z is also half of angle x y z so which is half of 54 which comes out to be 27 now now if we consider triangle o y z what we get is angle y o z plus angle o y z plus angle o z y equals to 180 degree why we can say angle sum property now so we can write angle y o z plus o y z is 27 plus o z y is you can say 32 which is equals to 180 so we can write angle y o z plus so 27 plus 32 comes out to be 59 so this is 59 which is equals to 180 so this implies is angle y o z is 180 minus 59 so answer will come out to be 180 minus 59 is 121 so angle you can write angle y o z is 121 degree so this is how we can solve these type of questions